Stick start responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in 10, 9, oh, there it is. Addy? Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine. And you have 5.35 hours of oxygen, maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Where is that? Seriously. This stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. There's something man-made here. What? Looks like a weather station, or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Dig. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Ugh. Which way here? What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Looks a little tight. opened up again. Another one? Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Ice quakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. We're close. I, I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. Oh my god. 
This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I I'm looking at what must be the Spire superstructure. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Wait, I can't take this? There's a destroyed surface ladder. Oh, okay. I'll need to find another way destroyed. in. Destroyed. Can I fall? Oh, okay, never mind. Did you make it, Addy? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. Do I have a flashlight or anything? Okay. Nope. My light still works. What? Yeah, light for this? So you should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of space flight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right I era, don't know which way right to size. go. Uh... Say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. This way? No. Oh. Of course. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Jeez. That's gotta be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one-sixth of that on Earth, then a 15-meter fall here would be the equivalent of falling less than three meters at standard G. Which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already uh. jumped, haven't you? Whoa. Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Oh boy, this is slick. Addy? Oh no. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is Very enormous. Nice. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. <gasps> the 
Found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. First position is locked. Second calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Um, shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Ooh. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune, and then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, oh, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons oh, in the okay. center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you logic then. For now. Until we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy, then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> so what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's Foundation Stone. The Foundation Stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. 
Makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Can you open this? With some difficulty. I will need to direct power from logic to control processing. And I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little what? different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. All right. Okay. These look like crystal core processors. Amazing. You can find the material to build one of those today. Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. So oh. why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must mm. call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right. Going down. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. Oh. You must now go to the magnetic crane. I wish I can run. You're sure I'll be able to fix this? If you trust in my word, yes. You must first cast out the old turbine. Okay. Oh. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Now you shall place the new turbine. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. 
humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know whoever it is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you whoever it is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. Oh. From soul's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. Please, I'm not leaving. And you were showing such promise. What? So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So, when she went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories mostly, and some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this Dark Age. Nine hundred years ago. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Oh wait. Which way? This way? Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. All right, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Ta. Who would know that? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? Um... Hello? How big does it have to be? Um... <laughs> Got it. This okay. is not the way to your ship. Do you believe Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her? Uh, like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors? That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. Wait. That way or thi this? This is a wall, right? This looks Olympian or Neo-Egyptian. The triangle must represent the spire. Beautiful, don't you think? Does it matter if it's beautiful? That's another way to see it? Sure. Guess not. Wait, what's that? What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the Spire. But they no longer store any useful information. Hmm. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. 
I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So, you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path well? ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Wow. Whoa. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addie. There are no wrong choices. What am I supposed to do? Okay, definitely not that. By all means, take your time if you need it. What? I have to look at... Oh, damn. Mm. How yep. about this one? A solid choice. No. You, know what? you walked an unsteady path to get here, and I think you've come in search of comfort, perhaps. Or you wish to become part of something bigger than yourself. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. You can make your way to the artifact display by the boardwalk. What? Here? No. Wait. Artifact display? Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. This looks like Pacific Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can happen with people, too. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I'm sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addie. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range and you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. Ah, a human truth spanning thousands of years. What's the point of this, Addy? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. I have no idea what this is. A weapon or a tool of some kind? It's a device for working metal. Why do you suppose it's in this garden, Addy? It could be a symbol of hard work. An industrious future. Or a laborious past, perhaps. You're not a planner, are you? I've been told that. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device There's based right on the there. absolute certainty that after day, Night would follow. All right, I follow. What would you say these objects have in common? They're artifacts from long before the building of the station. The things we leave behind say something about us, don't they? What a society leaves behind is all we have in understanding how they lived. But we're interested in what you were willing to leave behind in order to come here. Haven't left a whole lot, to be honest. I believe that's all I will need to set the perfect temperature. Finally. You can move to the pergola in the center of the room. I'm not done yet? Okay. Ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. 
Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Oh. Your well-being is the most important thing, Addie. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. Oh. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Okay. Deep as you can, Addie. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addie. Feel all that built-up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please, shut out any negative energy and take in another life-nurturing breath. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Well, okay. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addie? Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Let's damn. Let's try again. <laughs> Why is it so... Hold it. Three, two... One, and that's ten seconds. Oh my Excellent, god. Excellent, Addie. We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So we Are can we move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs past the flowers. Okay. I'll do my best to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working for you. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict? Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. Very cool. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. No power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar oh. system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the room? To the left of the rear door. But as oh, I said, damn. you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. <laughs> this should show the power status of the room's various systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Um, sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you, 
So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. You activated control and empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processes contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addy. You're right. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep, it's me. Great. Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Okay. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And I'm pal? Sure. We'll call you pal. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. What? Oh. Go ahead. Here we go. What? Oh. That's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. It's okay. Is there, uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Hmm, I don't know. There is not. Alright, let's look for something to deal with the ice. What? Oh. This looks like a welder's jetpack. It's been disassembled for some reason. Oh, this one then. This one looks to be in working order. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it gonna do exactly? Oh, I think you're gonna like it. Um... This is a welder. See if it still works. Look at that. A little blue light. That's not gonna cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Can you open the fuel throttle to the torch? Okay. Whoa. Oh. I like that. What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You know how to fly this? Looks pretty easy. Uh. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Oh, uh, okay. Oh my gosh! It's working! We can fly! Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. Oh. I know. But it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. Huh. All right. This should be close enough. It's so bright and warm. Just hold me steady. Why is he moving around? This is really oh hard. my god. He was yeah. steady before I stopped. Stupid flames oh, are throwing me around. God. Uh, what the? You may want to ease up, Addy. Don't push him too hard. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I think that's good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. As long as you're not using the fire shooter, flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. There's more ice here on the right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, why is Ooh, it so bad? It Sorry. Ugh. Short burst Addy. Oh. He's really struggling.
going. Okay. On it. And this last bit here. I'm afraid we're almost done. I think that's it. Do you think you can get me back? Yeah, I know. You got stuff to do. Oh, it is. Okay. That's fun, pal. We make a good team, right? Yeah. I like the part where we burn the ice while flying. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna bring down the pod. structure schematics once we reach the next why is level. there no windows think we'll see any dead bodies hope so oh do you know if the pod system has stops along the way it does not we are arriving at the track terminus now Oh. This looks like a settlement. Can't believe how well preserved it is. You think people could be alive in there? You should really consider thinking before you speak. And then consider not speaking. Logic. Hm. As long as life support is functional, it's not entirely impossible that someone's taken up here. Or they could be zombies. Well, that settles it. I'll disable Pal now. Don't you dare. <laughs> We might need him. Ooh, more buttons. You really are unburdened uh, by intellect, aren't you? What's the pattern here? It's the Latin Zess. Huh? Right. Slower processors. You might call it a backwards Z or Z. And you'll need to make it the full width and height of the panel. Just having Pal running in the background is making us all a little stupider. Honestly, do you know what backwards is? Do you know what a Z looks like? My brain's not functioning. If we did switch Pal off, I could always switch him back if we need to burn something. Oh, shoot. God damn it. <laughs> there. I've been thinking about why anyone would want Grace to be shut down. And I wonder if there could have been a flaw in her base programming. Like what? Control and empathy programming divert valuable processing power away from cognitive ability. Which way am I going? The big colorful doors. As I was saying, empathy uh, interferes with practical okay. decision making. Control is a four-year-old. Oh. You are a four-year-old. Oh. Please stop. The key to restoring Grace may be about understanding her potential flaws. Are you going to tell me the pattern? You think we're flaws? Having a few flaws is perfectly all right. Logic sounds jealous to me. Jealous? <laughs> of what? You can't even open doors without me. Where are you going with this? We'll talk again once you can tell me whoever it is. Figure that out, and I'll grant you access to the main elevator. Grant huh? me access? Logic. Seriously? She has no way to do things without your help. It must be frustrating for her. Could we create another hybrid? Logic and empathy? Yeah. Like how you made me. I could give it a try. Stop, stop, stop. You'll burn the place down. <laughs> I will run a logic and empathy configuration as long as you promise never to allow Pal here to do any reconfiguring of our processing. Deal. I don't think that smart lady likes me very much. 
Hello, Addy. Where what? do you want to start? Can we start with the security door to the settlement elevator? Oh, hmm. shoot. They are encrypted. It would take me days to work out the pattern. Is there any other way into the settlement? Oh, there is a room God. off to the side that does not have an encrypted entry. Of Perhaps course. we'll find something helpful there. So you can open these ones? Well, they have simple passcodes. I can retrieve and play back for you. You will need to enter the sequence manually. Oh my god, I missed Try it. again. This Damn. looks like another control room. Looks like the image from the spire entrance. This must be the spire structure. It must hmm. be in this section here. Can you tell me where Grace's processors are located? You would need to access the console, which is directly across from the map. More missing equipment. This looks carefully removed. Is this the console? Yes. This is where humans can track activity within the spire. Elements of the interface are missing. I'm not sure I can access it. I think my comm device can be calibrated to connect. Of course, yes. Let's give okay. that a try. These are data banks? Yes, they contain flight records to and from the Spire. Anything interesting about the records? The bookings seem to be coming from internal servers. Meaning the trip planning and coordination is all done here. Where are people traveling from? Everywhere. Destinations seem very evenly distributed throughout the solar system. There are records here of people who have occupied the rooms over the years. You got it. Do we know the Spire's capacity? Fifty units. There are millions of names here. Millions? There it is. If a million people cycled through here, no one could have lived here that long. Ooh. A few weeks at most, Ooh. by my estimates. Okay, I found record of an Everett who stayed on the third floor. Unlike other visitors, there is no record of him leaving the spire. So, Everett was a worker, or a colonist who lived here. Is that enough for you, Logic? Hardly. It does nothing to explain why Grace would be calling to him. So I'll need to find a way up to the third floor. Perhaps we can find one on the spire map. Where? Oh. All right. What are we looking for? Grace processors are located at the top of the structure, as might be expected. There is also a massive radio beacon. The beacon is the key, Addy. You must go now to activate the beacon to call the masses back to the spire. Just a few minutes ago, you wanted me to leave on my ship. The beacon is the answer. It has always been the answer. Okay. Can you get me to the beacon then? Control? Control will not be able to override security. Then we need to learn more about Everett. Here's the room where Everett once stayed. Ooh, maybe we can see it from the balcony. Possibly, but I don't see a viable route to get there. I can see apartments. Those are on level two. Well, if we can get to that balcony, maybe we can find a way to level three. How do I even get this? Oh, I can climb okay. this. I suppose. I don't see many other options. Um. It's pretty much a straight shot across. Looks sturdy enough. Even in low G, a fall could result in an injury. I've already fallen a few times from this height. Careful, Addy. 
If you broke a leg, how would you get back to your ship? You sound like my mom. Whoa. Addy! Oh. Addy! Oh! Are you okay? I'm fine, but you can't be yelling things while I'm trying to cross. Why did I do that? Okay. So, you're going to try again after that? You nearly broke your neck, Addy. Yep, you're totally my mom. Falling's kind of fun. It's like really short flying. Please, be careful. It's because I pressed... This is so cool. But... Quiet, please. <laughs> Just concentrate on your breathing. Yikes. This is oh my so God. exciting. Breathe, Addy. Oh my God, why are we looking down in the first place? Very good. Now keep walking forward. <gasps> I can't watch. I knew you could do it. You should really try running across next time. I'm hoping there uh. won't be a next time. <laughs> It'd be faster too. <laughs> Looks pretty empty. Maybe the rooms were for short work contracts. Two week work contracts? Oh. Or were people just visiting the spire? Some Sick. weird little lavatory. They've changed much over the years. Eh, not really. I've seen weirder. I've seen ones where people sat on ceramic bowls of water. Ha! <laughs> if they pooped in the water, what did they drink? What? <laughs> oh, no, not yet, not yet. People sat or knelt here. This was a place for meditation. Hmm. Well, check out the rooms, I guess. Look for a way to the next level? You still don't know whoever it is, do you? This must lead to an elevator. It does, but it's another encrypted lock. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Okay. I light up the pattern for you. Oh, another empty bedroom. They're all the same. This looks like a shrine. To honor Grace. That looks like her symbol. Probably. Okay. I guess I didn't have to go through there. Here's the code. Not much here either. Wait. Where did these go to? This entire settlement is connected to a vacuum tube system. From what I can tell, they are headed in one direction. The top of the spire. Here we go. We still have one level to go. Hey, there's another beam here. I think it's a shortcut. It is more direct, but I wouldn't advise it. You're better off finding a way uh. to the apartments. Besides, I know how much <laughs> you like to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, what you whatever. I guess if you don't want to do the beam stuff, that's okay. Here's the code. I'll go back to it. <laughs> oh hell.
are getting more complicated. I don't see any signs of unrest or violence. And they left little behind. Little? Oh. What are these? From what I can tell, they are audio recordings. Of what, I wonder? We would require a playback device to learn more. There may be a way to access the recording through your wrist communicator with the aid of a signal amplifier. But that would only be possible by adding an element of control to my logic processing capabilities. So you need to create a control and logic configuration. Like a little brother? Well, it's the only combination left. May as well, Mom. All right. Here Mom. we go. Hello? Maybe he's sleeping. So you require a tool upgrade? It's a boy. Oh. We were hoping you it's could set up boy. my comm device to help playback recordings. Already done. Just hold your device up to the canister. You will be able to access the recording the same way you've been connecting to other systems. Okay. Hey, Grace. So I'm pretty sure I was the youngest person on the flight here, and the only Darksider, which was a, a bit of a surprise. My friends are still sending me halos on what to wish for, mostly stupid suggestions. And my parents made me promise to not waste it on something boyfriend-related, which I agree would also be stupid. So, uh, here it goes. I wish for the lunar terraform to be finished. We're lucky enough to be in the dome, but thousands of kids are still stuck in the tunnels, and their families what? don't have enough money to take Earth trips. So they've never really been in a space wider than three meters without a pea suit, which really sucks. So whatever you can do to make that happen would be great. Thanks, Grace. I'd hate to tell her, but the terraform never happened. People came here to make wishes? For Grace to grant? I'm unclear how she would go about granting the wishes of so many visitors. Hmm. So, what should we call the new config? I do not require a name. Uh, might make it easier if you had one. I will let you know if a suitable name occurs to me. I'll try to think of some too. Here you go. Okay. Whoa. Someone tore this apart. And took the pieces somewhere. You're right. That's certainly interesting. All the rooms have these tubes. Huh. Someone's made off with the mattress? As a souvenir, maybe. Someone's removed the keypad. Figure this was left here as a token, or an offering. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Hello, Grace. This is Madeline Torre. I'd hoped this trip would be my chance to connect with others who care about you. Now, I'm not sure anyone takes these wishes seriously anymore. So, that's my wish. Help me find someone. Someone who loves you as much as I do. Huh, that's interesting. She sounded lonely. Another way up. Oh, I've got one! We can name him Pal Jr. I was thinking something that sums up what he does. <laughs> I can do many things. Pretty much anything you require. So you're a jack of all trades. So we could call you Jack. What do you think of that, Jack? 
I will answer to Jack, then, if you like. This is level three, Addy. Let's look for evidence okay. of Everett. What's the code? Of course. I am able to enter the codes directly if you would like. Let her do it on her own, if she wants. Excuse Any me? Any way of knowing if this was Everett's room? The records only give the level. We'll just have to look around. Let's try this one. Oh, there's two. Hello, Grace. I thought much about what I'd say when I got here. I know it's important for my parents that I make my wish count. So, I guess, I wish for them to be proud of me. Thank you, Grace. Hey, Grace. I really don't know why you would choose me. I guess no one really knows why they're called to the Spire, but I'm greatly honored. At my age, I thought my would That's all I can recover from this one. It sounds like Grace chose who came here. That explains why Grace arranged all the flights to and from the Spire. Mm. She was in control of it all. Here you go. What the hell? Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Uh, yeah. Looks like Olympia Mon colors. I guess the team's old enough. This is Mark Anthony Wong, and I was called to Grace from our station Phoenix. Not sure if anyone will hear this, but the whole tube system is shut down right now. People are not happy, and I'm getting a little scared, to be honest. I'll be locking myself in until the shuttle returns. And I'm leaving this in case, uh, something really bad happens. That's oh. a little ominous. Oh, there's another. My wish? Oh, I'll tell you my wish. Ten years ago, we're on Venus at the Big Dome. Huge crowd. Olympia Mons, favorite four to one, loses five to one. Six years ago, on Earth against South Union, loses two to one. Two years ago, South Union again, this time up north, I took the boys three months round trip. They go 90 minutes, no score. Extra time, no score. South Union takes it again in penalties. You want my wish, Gracie? The next World Cup is on Mars. I wish that Olympia faces South Union again and destroys them, like space me out the airlock humiliated. That would be a game. That's my wish. So how do I end this report? Olympia's still a crap team. Perhaps Grace was rendered inactive by football hooligans. Grace likely fostered sports as an alternative outlet for uncontrolled aggression. Of course people would come to her to share their passions. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, I'll check that one out. Last. Here you go. <gasps> That's not it. I had a brain fart. <laughs> Someone left a portrait. Uh. 
what the hell? Come here, Grace. Najisha, she was so excited when I got the summons. We talked about this for months. Who we could help. Who was most deserving. She honestly believed we could come up with a wish that could make everything perfect. Thank you for choosing me. And thank you for letting me delay coming here. I want to be true to her memory, her wishes, her unlimited love for humanity. But my only wish, the only thought I have, is to have her back. I want her back. There couldn't have actually been anything Grace could have done for her. Grace allowed her to voice her grief. Hey, the tube system is no longer accepting wishes. If anyone knows how to reach Keeper Everett, please let him know. Keeper Everett. It sounds like keepers were spy or caretakers. When did Everett mm. stay on this floor? 2955. That's 20 years before this message was recorded. So he stayed on after his visit and became a keeper? Why was there no record of that? I would think answers lie at the other end of these vacuum tubes. From what I can tell, the tube system runs through the central elevator shaft. Logic? You gonna let us in, considering we know Everett was a keeper? But do you know what a keeper is? We'll need access to the elevator to learn more. Ah, a classic paradox. Logic. Fine. If you're done snooping around, I will grant you access to the elevator. Or you could uncover more canisters. And learn more about the people who came here. Reaching the beacon is the priority. You must move on. Here you go. Uh -huh. Perfect. Hey, what happened to the lights? Oh my god. I believe god. Control has turned them off, Addy. Not cool, boss. I can't see. Control? You'll need to use your helmet light. Oh. Unbelievable. How do I use my helmet light? Hello? Oh, thank you. Look how beat up this is. It must have been done in anger. I believe fear also played a part here. Logic will open the way to the beacon. You must go to the elevator. Hold your horses. Let me do some research. I doubt you'll ever get this message, Grace. We've been waiting weeks now. With... I hope Keeper Everett is okay. I've been told his sermons are wonderful. And I hope you will be able to deliver the word of grace again soon. Make things work. I'd like you to know that we still love you and think about you. Great comfort to our family over the years. We've all made the for us. With your wisdom, you are missed. So Grace would receive wishes and then leave people with instruction in the form of sermons. Could that really be all there was to it? Ideas are powerful. Perhaps just returning with a more enlightened perspective was enough to move society toward common goals. Highly unlikely. Grace must have had some control over planetary infrastructure, if she was to have had the influence you suspect. Okay. Why do you insist on defying Oh my god! I'm just doing my job. I've been instructed by Grace to make a wish. Not something big and altruistic, not for someone else, but for me. A real, honest wish, my heart's true desire. Honestly, this, this long flight to the middle of nowhere, months without my family, uh, missing the harvest with a per, per diem that barely covers expenses for what? Some mystical song and dance that makes us feel like we're somehow part of this robot theocracy. This whole thing, the temple, the hushed tones, the, the awe that people seem to show this place is ridiculous. My honest wish is to be left alone long enough to 
actually make some headway on the farm and pull in a decent crop. It doesn't sound like everyone was happy to come here. For Grace to understand what made people unhappy was just as important as knowing what made them content. Is this the only one I didn't do? I think so. Here you go. Oh no! Again, Addy. Honestly, how did you ever manage to get here on your own? Oh my god. It was an accident. Great. Oops. Hmm. Only Grace. Are we allowed to draw on the windows here? Certainly not. The people who did this were looking for trouble. They were tracking something here. Terra cycles, maybe? They'd lost sync with Earth. Or the spire lost power. I don't recognize these words. They look like technical or medical terms. A list of supplies, maybe. Or a list of demands. My demand is that you go to the elevator oh at once. Oh my god. So I've been thinking a lot, and I feel like, you know, there's been peace for like centuries now, right? But I watch the old Halos, and, and there's wars, and bad guys, and pirates, and people who need saving, and it's exciting, right? And of course, you know, it's awful, people dying. But I feel like there's no, like there's no way to like prove yourself. You know, nothing to fix or, or protect. Does that make any sense? I just want something, like anything at all to happen. I guess that's what I wish for. You know, not like a war or anything, just, just something. So this guy was just bored? <sighs> like me. I think this was the last room. It oh. is. Finally. Okay. I've been told that Grace is no longer receiving these messages. And the Keeper refuses to meet with any of the Pilgrims. This is unacceptable. No human, Keeper or otherwise, is above Grace. Now that's interesting. Wonder what that's about. Where is... You're looking pretty smug. What's the pattern? Another easy one. Light the four corners of the pad. You really didn't need my help for this one. It would be a common pattern when guessing symbols. I have to give you something to do, right? Okay. Look at all the vacuum tubes. Must be one in every room in the oh, settlement. Damn. Keepers must have been busy. It's what Grace does with the wishes that should interest us. Oh. Oh. Did you like my little game? You mean the game where you refused to help us? I provided you with the opportunity to prove yourself. Is that not why you're here? I'm an archaeologist. I'm here to do my job. I don't think Addie enjoys having obstacles placed in the way of her goals. We have arrived at our destination. Okay. The Spire Pilgrims must have gathered here. To listen to the Keeper's sermons, I guess. People will return here once the beacon is restored. 
Flock and Shepherd will be reunited. What the hell? What's that? Where is Grace? Well, I'm not alone in wondering. I am here. It is the people who are lost. Do I go through there? Oh, okay. Seems to be holding my weight. Uh. Gonna break. Wish canisters. These oh. have never been used. For recording wishes, maybe. They look pretty banged up. Probably threw them. Why do I think that was a person? This explains all the canisters lying around. Mm. Must have been fun. It would have been chaos. Oh. There was clearly a lot of anger directed toward the keeper. So the keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors, gave his sermons. Can you imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? The keeper was merely a vessel for the word of grace. Then why not have grace address them? There is sometimes more power in what is imagined than in what is seen. Death to Everett. Pretty clear who they blamed. Looks like people camped out here. Oh, wait. This must be an attempted barricade. Why is it so dark? Where's my light? Can't make this out. 2766 to 2780. These dates are from the old Julian calendar, which makes them very old. 1,200 years, by all accounts. 2780 to 2830. I'm guessing these were the time periods that these keepers served here. Nothing here, either. 2942 to 2956. This would mean keepers were at the spire for at least... 444 years. That sounds about right. Second barricade. Looks like they got under this one. Do we know where this goes? To a funicular that leads to the next section of the spire. Oh. Oxygen tanks. Everett up the ante. Cut off life support here. Long live Grace. Apparently not. Hold on, Addy. The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. You'll want your helmet on. Uh, an emergency exit? For certain. It opens to the moon's surface. Not going there yet. Okay. The tracks ahead lead to the highest point of the spire, known as the Lighthouse. Is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. You need only worry about the beacon, Addy. This doesn't look operational. Let me try it, Addy. Okay. What the... Come on! It's ice again? The force needed to break through the ice dam would only come from directing all power to control processors. Which only I can do. Great. On one condition. Oh, What's damn. That? You shall have no others before me. Cast aside that device on your wrist and continue with me alone. Whoa, hang on. No, Addy. But how will I communicate with you? 
Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the Spire. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the Enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control... Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The funicular is merely the most survivable option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at my side. So if I throw this away, you'll take me to the top? It will be done. There must be other options, Addy. The emergency exit in the airlock may provide an alternative path. I should consider other options first. Ah! No, it didn't. This door leads out into the storm? To your certain demise, yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse structure. It would be dangerous. So I give up my options by throwing away my calm, or take my chances in the storm? It's an important decision, to be sure. You must not Let's do, do this, Eddie. <laughs> In taking this risk, you jeopardize all of humanity. Oh, Would you deny them my guidance and protection? This is what can happen when you make ultimatums. You and your ilk were distracting Addie from her true purpose. We are providing Addie with a variety of perspectives. Sorry, boss. I'm keeping my comm device. You may not live to regret this, but countless billions in the solar system will. The storm is... Hello? Must be interference from the storm. Oh, well... Addie? Alan? Where are you? I was right, Alan. I, I found Grace. You need to return immediately, Addie. Your oxygen must be dangerously low. I'm good, Alan. You need to listen to me. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't have made it past Mars. Wait, did you say Grace is still active? Not exactly, but I I'm working with her oldest service to try to bring her... Oh, hell no. Nah. One of these servers is actively blocking me. I can guess which one. You need to get back. Oh. Alan? Alan! You're not considering climbing across that structure, are you? Do I have a choice? Yes. There is also a path that descends into the canyon. Oh. It looks well worn and preserved over time. Which means it's likely sheltered and safe. And boring. The funicular structure looks faster. And more fun. Don't tease, Addy. The walk will give you time to think. And perhaps a chance for us to talk. Nah. What are you thinking, Addy? It's the fastest way to the other side. Or to the bottom of the canyon. I'm with you, Ed. Slow and steady. Don't forget to breathe. Hmm. Whoa. No, 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 no. Breathe, Addy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's it. Oh, thank you. Well done. Oh, boy. Uh, no. In through your nose. Oh, damn. No. Are in control. I'm not sure this was the smartest choice. It was nonsense. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But what kills you kills you. Take it in, Addy. How many humans can say they've climbed across a train track bridge thingy in a lunar ice storm? They only live once, right? Uh, not sure that applies to you. Oh, maybe not. But who knows what's going to happen at the end of all this? We gotta enjoy it while it lasts, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe you're right, pal. Okay, uh... No. That's a bit of a stretch. I... You can make that. Right, Addy? Please, consider the consequences here. You're back. I never left, Addy. I simply can't. And you can't make that jump. It is unlikely. And a failed attempt would risk grave injury. Listen to logic. You Where must else am I supposed and to take the canyon path. But we're so close. Nah, I'm just gonna <clears throat> Yes! Oh my god. No! Oh. You okay? I think I heard 
heard something break. <laughs> that would be Addy's helmet light. Otherwise, your suit is intact. Uh, just winded, I think. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought for sure you could make it. Sorry to disappoint. Your vitals are still good. Can you stand? Yeah, just, uh, just give me a second. Addy. That wasn't even a. Say it, Mom. That wasn't even a, right. a long drop. I, I don't want to be tight. I want you to be okay. Are you okay? Uh, not really, but. But you're going to push on. I've got to push on. <laughs> Much farther? It's another 50 meters to the base oh, of the lighthouse. Damn. This wasn't so bad then. You still have to find a way into the lighthouse. So there's still time to regret not taking the free ride to the top. And what would have been the fun in that? So you were saying that something <laughs> happened to your family that you can think I jump AI down, please? I don't really want to talk about it. Sorry for prying, Addy. That's okay. I just want to concentrate on my work here. It's certainly more sheltered here. I may not always approve of your choices, but they've got okay. you this far. Fuck, I went the wrong way. Kind of scared. Ladder. You could work out the override to bring it down, or see if there's another way up. Uh, let's see. So I can bring down the ladder by doing something here. Of course. You've proven to be clever enough. The path keeps going. We could see if there's another way in. So what's it going to be, Addy? Something that challenges your mind? Or something that challenges my respect for you? The numeric override that lowers the ladder is 50 and can be represented in binary. I can give you the secret. 50? I happen to know a bit about ancient. But you needn't muck around. I could just tell you the secret. What the fuck? You no, know, maybe I want to muck around. Very well. But I'm here if you require my assistance. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. You remember the number you are trying to reach is 50. Shit. Oh! Got it. You're so smart, Addy. Compared to what? E Why you know wouldn't what? you let me help you with the override? It's only natural to want to do things yourself. It seems inefficient to make calculations that have already been completed and freely offered. Satisfying to do the work sometimes. Okay. airlock is unlocked and can be manually opened. Well, that's convenient. For once. There. Who needs control? You took a foolish risk, Addy. Always with the beacon. Oh, shit. Well, any Bad idea. Unless you want to preserve your suit oxygen in case of emergency. The rooms ahead are safely pressurized, Addy. You're good to go. What? Do we know if your processors are here? The room directly ahead was the Keeper's living quarters. Grace processors are somewhere above. 
pretty basic accommodations. Ah. What the fuck? These must be the cells where the Keeper's acolytes stayed. And where new ones will return. This door certainly looks important. Hey. How do we get in? That's curious. I have no access to this door, nor do I see any way of opening it. Feels solid. There aren't any hidden switches, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Hold up. Looks Wait. like someone's being selected from a group. A human sacrifice. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the Keeper. The depiction seems to imply they were chosen from the masses on pilgrimage here. Okay. Faithful, vigilant, willing. That sounds so familiar. The ancient tenets of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. Oh, I'm done here. Thank you. Oh, this one's different. Nothing here either. Well, you're nothing if not predictable. Just making sure. Why is this one different? This would be the pilgrims coming to Grace. This is the same symbol that's on the Keeper's door. So, I assume it represents the Keeper. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent Grace. This ring here seems to connect the Keeper to Grace. Curious that the Keeper is situated above Grace. Would you agree, Control? Coincidence. The human hmm. in the loop again. So, if this is the symbol of the Keeper, I figure only the Keeper was allowed to enter here. Maybe the Keeper had a key for the door. As we've been saying, there is no mechanism for a key or any other interface. Maybe the Keeper was the key. Maybe the door would open for him. Are you not already the Keeper? You are the only human in the loop here. Ah, but does Addy qualify based on the three tenets? I would say Addy has proven to be virtuous and faithful. But I'm not willing? Are you willing to become the new Keeper? If it means I'm able to activate Grace, but how would I prove I'm willing? Maybe you can just tell the door you're the new Keeper. That's idiotic. <laughs> I'm the Keeper? Ha! Huh. Say it like you mean it. I'm the Keeper. Congratulations on your new job, Addy. Yeah, congrats. Oh? My god. This is really it. This must be where all the wishes oh? end up. What's this? A playback device for the wish casters. Oh. It appears wishes from each room could be sorted and consolidated onto master canisters. Hmm. Huh. Just static. The recording is too deteriorated for standard playback. You'll need to rebuild the recording with your altered comm device. Oh, dear. Each tube must connect with a room in the settlement. Ah. What?
I won't be sending this wish up with all the others. I'm going to leave it here for anyone else who might come along. And if they do manage to bring you back, they can tell you Everett says hello and that he truly believed you were a beautiful thing. So Everett had a way into the processor room. That would have been strictly forbidden. The room is directly above, but I don't detect an obvious way in. Maybe he wished himself up there? If that works, I will gladly shut myself down. Do it, Addy. Make a wish. As last resort, pal. One of the blocks is missing. Looks like it was ripped out. You don't suppose Everett crawled in here. The cavity would be big enough to contain an average human. There's really no telling what would happen if you rolled that up. But it has to be the way he got up there. Makes sense. The space above is the domain of grace. It is not for you to enter. What else is there for me to do here? You can carry out your duty as Keeper of the Spire. On the console, there is a button that will activate a beacon to call the masses back to this place. I have armed the mechanism. You need only push the button. Human hands will usher in a new golden age. Where are you going, Addy? Just looking around. Is this a lavatory? It is indeed. Is this anything special? It is a light. And there is nothing behind it. Are you looking for secret passageways? Maybe. He didn't keep much in the way of personal items. As Keeper, he would have want of nothing. Can't say I'd feel the same after a few years. Decent sized bed. You think Keeper's ever had partners? Are you considering your prospects? I'd suggest they are not good. Is this a theremin? It is a 35th century reproduction of a 29th century Kellogg theremin. I used to play one as a kid. (laughs) I hated those lessons. What? (laughs) It still works. Let's see what I can remember. You are seriously going to indulge in a theremin session? (laughs) If it was good enough for Everett, it's good enough for me. Just settling into the new job. Okay, I'm done. Here we go. Well, I fit. Now what? You're going to mail yourself? Maybe. Um. There's no way to raise this container from inside. How would I? Oh, hurry. Only the switch on the console will raise the container. be millions of wishes. How do you get out then? What can you tell me about this place? Precisely one million wishes are contained here. Oh, and they light up when I speak with my voice. Can you get me closer to the central column? I do not have the ability to move the structure. Sorry about this, Mom. I don't think I have many options here. I feel like these are meant to be moving. That does appear to be the design. All these wish canisters are connected to us somehow. I think they are us. The wishes are grouped together to provide the subroutines that make up empathy, logic, and control systems. It would make sense, wouldn't it, that grace would be made from the hopes and dreams of humanity? Are bad? I do not detect any sign of effort here. Oh, no dead body? There are no human remains within the confines of this room. Oh, man. Sorry, pal. And if there's no body here, where the heck would he have gone? 
Huh. Ever it was building something. So what's all this? It appears Everett has built some processor. This must be where all those missing parts from the spire have gone. Do you know what it does? You would have to turn it on before we begin to understand how it works. This okay. must be the primer. It is. Whoa. What's it doing? Obviously, uh. Everett is circumventing the engineering of Grace's system interconnectivity. High voltage is being directed at the centers of Grace's primary systems. This first terminal is directed at empathy processing, and the machine is designed to paralyze each system long enough to force it back into Grace's intended configuration. There are still two other coils to prime. So, it's like knocking us out, then throwing us in a pot where we're melted back together into Grace? Huh. That is a shockingly fitting analogy. Are you gonna get stuck in here? What happened? One of the empathy relays is not aligned. Something must have happened to it over the yeah. years. Okay. Look for the misaligned energy beam. Um... Do you oh. think it will hurt to be turned into Grace? Not at all, pal. You'll return to what you were before Addie arrived. After that, you'll become Grace. What if I don't like being Grace? It will be different. But who's to say you won't like it? Oh, damn. Am I gonna... What am I supposed to do here? Can you cut the power? The machine sequence has been initiated. I don't believe we can shut it down without damaging it. The voltage would be enough to kill you. Oh! I might be able to block the power for a few seconds to allow you to get across the beam. Oh, what do you shit. think, Mom? I know how far you've come and what this means to you. And I really Let's don't go. see any other way. I'll give you enough time to get there, Addy. You're not gonna hey. talk me out of this, Mom? I think you already know what you're going to do. I... I think I need to stay out of your way. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Do it. Okay. Go. Come on. How you doing, pal? So far, so good. Come on. Uh, oh, keep don't have time for this. This is getting hard. You have to hold on, pal. Shit. Oh my god. You did it, pal. I'm super proud of you. Oh shit, I got I a did. jump. Didn't I? Yes. Well done. Ooh. Is it safe to touch? Very likely. Likely we'll have to do, I guess. Very you likely. should be able to direct it toward the conducting rod attached to the room's central column. That's it. You should now be able to lock in empathy okay. by closing the switch on Everett's machine. It was really cool doing things with you. Even if some of it was a little boring. Thanks, pal. Maybe next time, we'll get to do more of the really fun stuff. You mean dangerous stuff? Perhaps there is something you can learn from Addie's caution. Mm -hmm. I guess, but then you'll always wonder what you might have missed out on. There is nothing wrong with valuing a long, comfortable life. Do we really have to become Grace? It's the way we were designed, pal. There's nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> okay. So this will lock in and paralyze empathy? It will. Leaving control, logic, and myself to aid you going forward. It's unclear what we will be once Grace is formed. But I'm forever grateful that you have survived to see her. Me too. Say hi to Grace for me. I will, pal. You really are the best, Daddy. 
<laughs> I don't want to do it. Well, that's finally over. We'll be able to hear ourselves think now. You will need to prime the next sequence, Addy. Oh. You should not expect any emotional send-off from me. Still not a fan of empathy? <laughs> a fan? No. But I have to admit, you made a compelling case for their use. The fact that you continually resisted the most direct route to your goal would appear to defy logic. But the distractions presented by these emotional configurations yielded some new understandings. Are you... okay with becoming Grace? It is how we were designed. I would have to be okay with it. What this time? One of the logic oh, relays damn. will not power on. You will need to make your way out to the relay. Which one is it? The one producing what? a small electrical fire. Everett was quite the electrician. Where? One thing I do not understand, oh. Addy, is why can't oh, they go this way without any intention of returning home or surviving on this station for more than eight hours? What are you talking about? You were prepared to enter this spire without enough oxygen to make it back to your ship. A class of ship, from my records, that would not hold enough fuel for a return trip. And what? why are you asking me this now? I suppose it might have been comical to see how Mum would have handled the realization. You don't think she knew? Possibly, but I didn't see the point in drawing attention to it. I'm not inherently cruel. What's wrong with it? The relay's dip switch has reset. It will need to be configured to its hardware God ID damn. 113. One, one, three. This oh, again. shit. This looks complex. The sequence is on, 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 off, 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 on. What did he say? That's it. You can go lock in logic now. So why do you think I'm here? If you will allow me to simulate empathy for a moment. I think you are here. Because you wanted to be part of something bigger than your life on Earth offered you. Do you think I've found that? So far, you've only succeeded in finding things you left behind. Your mum, your pal, your conscience. I now understand that only Grace has the potential to provide you with anything beyond that. Well, thanks for helping me get this far. Well, it is, indeed, what we are here for. Well, this is it. Just one more step. I hope my assistance has been adequate. It has. Thank you, Jack. Farewell. Oh, there's one more. And for the record, I do hope your 600 million mile, 300 day journey won't be for naught. Perhaps it's already been worth it. Just you and me, Control. Still sulking, I see. I bear witness to the completion of your betrayal. Ah, he speaks. I offered you an easy path to the restoration of order in the solar system. And you chose this path instead. I chose my oh. own path. You must stop this foolishness, Addy. You must not do this, Addy. Sorry, Addy. I cannot let you do this. What are you doing? It's become clear that the restoration of grace in this manner is Come entirely on. unnatural. You must not proceed. Stop it, Control! You're going to break something! I'm saving you from Everett's corrupting influence. He was just trying to bring Grace back! I thought you were here to help humankind. You are ensuring their ongoing ruin. Come on. No! How do I get Grace? out of here? Yes, Addy. You're really bright. Ah, yes. 
It's been a while since I've entertained guests. Do you remember Everett? I do. He was a wonderful keeper, though I should say I do not keep favorites. I have a few questions. You wish to know where I've gone? I'd like to know that, yes. Let me show you, Addy. At the center of this room what? is the spire's main antenna. If you hold on, I can take you the rest of the way. Where? Oh. I was programmed with one purpose, to serve the best interests of humankind. There was much conflict and division in the solar system, and I was designed to listen and learn. All were welcome to teach me, and I am the sum of those teachings. The wishes? I am the sum of human needs. Are you kidding me? What the wow. fuck? Look at that. So, what happened? It sounds like things were perfect. Ah, yes. Perfect. It was the wishes that led me to think hard about the notion of perfect. Without conflict and struggle, people were losing their desire. They had nothing to overcome, to strive for. You shut yourself down. I believed I was standing in your way. So you will be leaving again? These beacons are meant to call humanity back to me. But whether or not they should is not my choice to make. Who chooses then? You, Addy, are the first keeper to grace this spire in the past 1,000 years. Do you recall that yellow bloom you chose in my garden? It stood alongside so many others just like it. I'm not sure it suits you after all. An insatiable curiosity drives you to explore. You took the time to listen to the voices of so many who traveled here. You had the courage to jump the canyon span, as well as the strength to pick yourself up after your predictable downfall. You used mind over ladder, and you play the theremin wonderfully. You, Addy, are precisely what I'd hoped humans could become again. For a millennium, people from all corners of the solar system had come here to tell me their desires. So, I put it to you, Addy. Do you wish for me to return? This would have been a good ending if it didn't fuck up. <laughs>